Surrounded by 6,000 acres of pristine forest, the lodge at Wakulla Springs is North Florida's castle. Built in 1937 by Edward Ball, it's not only one of the most beautiful buildings of its time, it's one of the only ones that you can spend the night in. While I was at the springs filming locations used for Creature from the Black Lagoon, the fine folks here at the lodge invited me to stay the night and check it out. And I'm going to show you around the lodge so that you can see why this is a not to be missed location if you are in the North Florida area. Located in the middle of Wakulla Springs State Park, the lodge's 27 rooms overlook one of the country's largest springs and is on the property where one of my favorite movies was filmed, The Creature from the Black Lagoon. You can see another video about that on this channel where we visit some of those locations. Edward Ball took his idea of quiet elegance and placed it in the most serene place he'd found on his international travels, Wakulla Springs. He imported marble and tile, hired artisans in iron and stone, and introduced to the world a most unique retreat. To explore the history of this grand hotel is to take a voyage back in time to Florida's land boom, those glorious days when people and money flowed into the Sunshine State braving swamps and mudslides with an eye to the future. It started in the 1920s when Ball was touring Florida's panhandle looking for land to purchase to grow pulpwood. He found love at first sight at Wakulla Springs. Now before we take a room tour and look at more of the details inside the hotel, let's take a quick look at the grounds. There's a lot to do here. There's hiking, there's a, uh, it's almost one mile circular trail. There's a six mile linear trail. You can hike out there and get close to nature. There's biking. There is, of course, swimming. And there's some cave areas, uh, crystal clear water. You can even run into some of these fun little babies. Lots of manatees out there playing in the water. Uh, but watch out for these. They have big teeth. Yeah, that's a giant alligator right over there on the other side of the springs. And do not miss taking the boat tour. This is going to get you way out into the springs where you can get up close with all these beautiful, beautiful animals. In 1931, Edward Ball bought the springs and the lodge site. And he personally handled everything about the construction of the lodge. He designed the floor plan, selected the architects, selected the materials, and made sure that everything was meticulously detailed. Construction on the lodge began in 1935. Ball's eye to quality and durability can be seen through his lavish use of Tennessee marble throughout the lodge on floors, baseboards, thresholds, counters, stairwells, desktops, tabletops in the gift shop, the lobby, the veranda. The marble is fitted so meticulously no grout can even be seen. The world's longest known marble bar at 70 feet 3 inches is in the Soda Fountain gift shop. This marble is face matched. Eight pieces were cut from one block of marble. This process is known as quarter sawing. A block of marble is cut in half, cut in half again, and each quarter is again cut in half to get eight panels, thereby producing a matching pattern. Two very special features grace the rim of the lobby. The marble and iron staircase and the original elevator are both Art Deco masterpieces. So let's take a look at this very, very cool elevator. You notice that you manually push open the door and then once you're in there, the gate closes and you're on your way to the next floor. How cool is that old style elevator? big time and it opens up you manually open the door and you're at your next destination how cool the interior of the elevator walls are walnut with quarter sewn face matched grain and an inlay using varied colored woods this is the only known surviving period art deco elevator still in use and it is awesome i could just stay in this elevator for a very, very long time. It, uh, it's amazing. It is an amazing elevator. And to be able to enjoy this, you know, one of the last existing ones that works, 
is insane. I could just write it over and over and over. And I hate to admit that I did. The staircase's three landings are massive marble panels with face-matched grain that were cut from one block. The risers and treads also are matched panel of marble and granite. The wrought iron railing was made on site and illustrates wildlife from the river. The limpkins and herons are true to life in outline and size. And what are they playing on the television in the lobby? Yes, the gill man himself, the creature from the Black Lagoon. How fun is that, that they play the movie in the lobby <laughs> since the movie was filmed here? That is so much fun and such a cool little touch. Before I give you a tour of one of the rooms, let's look at one more cool thing about the lobby. The use of heart cypress can be seen throughout the lodge. Heart cypress is the very interior of the tree. All of the cypress logs used in the lodge were obtained locally as deadheads, cypress that had fallen into the water and been immersed for 50 years or longer, making it impervious to rot. The great lobby itself heads the list with use of this wood. Although this room is great in size, the height of the ceiling is about 16 feet, the lobby ceiling gets the most attention for its decorative painting of local wildlife scenes. Close examination shows it to be a combination of European folk art, intricate Arabic scroll work, and Native American influences. Now let's get a look inside of one of the rooms so that you can see what it's like to sleep here. This is a really big room. There's a lot of room in here. <laughs> look at the size of this. These are uh, two queen beds. And you can see all the space in between them and the space out here. Um, really large room. Well, let's take a closer look. So you see there's the door that I just came in. And we'll take a look over here. We got some hard floors with a rug on it. Um, Got slightly elevated beds, uh, nice big mirror there, and a little nightstand that goes in between the two queen beds. They've put a visitor on that one for me. Looks like a little, little crab guy. <laughs> Got some uh, cool little springs photos here. Uh, if you're wondering what kind of plugs there are, uh, there's a lot because I'm using them. You see there's USB plugs as well as regular plugs, um, lots of them to charge up all your devices. Uh, if we look right over here, you can see this cool old piece of furniture. It's a neat little, neat little small dresser. You've got a sitting area over here. If you want to do a little sitting and reading and uh, take a closer look at this. This is a nice cool little piece of furniture in here. Very cool. Take a quick look at the bathroom in the bathroom. Standard type bathroom, tub shower combo right there. And uh, you got all your amenities that you need here with the soaps and shampoos. You got some more plugs in here if you need them. Um, Got some stuff here in the shower for your use, so you don't need to bring any shampoos or soaps. So here's something that I really love that I want to point out. You don't see this in a hotel room every day. An actual medicine cabinet <laughs> behind the mirror. How cool is that? Love it. And then the closet is pretty cool. When you come over here, even the closet is huge. Uh, you go down here and there's another little hallway and right here is like this big walk-in closet. And I haven't found the light in there yet. Oh, there it is. <laughs> it's on a string. There we go. And uh, it's, a, it's a huge walk-in closet. Look at this. It's, I mean, you just walk into it. It's got a hanging space, got some coat hangers, got some places for your, your luggage. There's all my junk. Uh, very, very cool. Very, very cool. So, uh, you're gonna have a lot of room when you stay in one of these. Fantastic room. And how adorable is this? The room uses a real key. Nothing electronic here. Nope, old school key. I love it. A key to get into the room. 
and the view the view is fantastic and the view is much better in person than it is through my camera lens <laughs> you you can't see it really well through my camera lens but it's a it's a great view now <clears throat> very quickly just outside of the room and down the hall around the corner is this cute little coffee and tea nook and every morning they bring out coffee and hot water to make tea right there and uh, you start your day how about that and right down the hall from that is this room that looks like a boardroom and notice the widescreen tv you may have noticed there are no televisions in the rooms so you come here to watch tv or do something with the family like play games like what's that smell i'm intrigued by that it's a party game Never heard of it, but I will be checking that out. Now, <clears throat> lots of space here on the table to put your board games out and play if you prefer to read. There is a small assortment of books here in the library to read. Not a lot, but, uh, but there's a little bit. And uh, some, interesting, some interesting stuff, too. Um, but here's something you don't see every day. A full set of encyclopedias. Yes, kids... That's what we used before the internet, right there. <laughs> so another piece of history. This is a fantastic historic hotel. Lots and lots of history here that sits on a beautiful, beautiful piece of property, Bacullah Springs. Fantastic. True to Ball's word, he created a very serene and peaceful retreat with the lodge at Wakulla Springs. It's not only a, a great example of precise craftsmanship, but it also offers visitors a look into Florida's elegant history and past. So make sure you check out their website for more information about the lodge, how you can book a stay here. It's a fantastic, beautiful, historic location. And I wanna thank the fine people here at the lodge for having me over and allowing me to film this and share it with you. So I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If you have, click that like button to let the powers that be know that you liked the video. And while you're at it, click on follow or subscribe and you'll be notified when I upload new videos. So thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.